as you, you, we all know, this week marks the 10th anniversary of the uh, murder of Matthew Shepard in Laramie. In the aftermath of that, there was a push in the Wyoming legislature and other legislatures for hate crimes legislation. They didn't pass in Wyoming. What would your, what's your position on hate crimes legislation? I don't like hate crimes legislation because it actually goes against what I said a minute ago, which is that all people should be treated equally. If you have a system that treats all people equally, you shouldn't have hate crimes legislation because you should be treating people from essentially a colorblind, race blind, sex blind, gender blind, sexual preference blind fashion. And if you are doing that, and if you're truly executing good legislation that does that, then you should realize that violent crimes are based on hate and you shouldn't have to delineate which type of hate and then prioritize those types of hate. We have systems in place that, based on the severity and the heinousness of the crime, already make that determination. I think those systems are what we need because they are truly blind of the nature of the individual, and that's how government should be. <coughs> Senator Edmund. What happened to Matthew Shepard was a tragedy for his family, for the community, for the state, and, and for the nation, and should not happen. Um, hate crimes legislation, that's where you have to get into the thought process of the person that cre created the crime. And I, I worry that some people will even get off from crimes because they're charged with a hate crime and it winds up to be something much different than that and, and can't be proven. And I don't, I don't know how you prove that. And on something as, as, as heinous as, as that, um, the death penalty was available. But I, I do remember the family asking that the life not be taken. Um, I'm not sure under hate crimes legislation whether that option is open to the family that 